This is the Strike SMP, and on this server, all netherite armor is banned, except for one set that makes you a god. Each piece of the netherite armor gives you one permanent potion effect that makes you immortal. And the chest plate gives you protection 5. And on this server, there's a group of people called the Joeys, who have made their own religion and constantly beat other builds. So, I need to get revenge. And in order to do this, I'm gonna kill the leader of the Joeys, Miravisa34, who just so happens to have the entire set of netherite armor. Now, I've already tried to kill him using an elaborate parkour course that ends in death. But, he just used F3A and killed me. So, the plan is now to lure him into this room, give him stuff, and then, using the server Shriek Capitator Cloak, drop him all the way down into the inescapable void. The one problem is, this is exactly how Mirror Beast 34 killed Power Only for the Netherite Army. So, I'll have to do it completely differently and make a whole new void trap. And before we move on, I'd just like to say I'm in a sub race with infinite avocado to 500 subscribers. So if you don't want to see me lose to a avocado, please make sure to like and subscribe. But anyway, let's get breaking the bedrock. As you're already probably getting bored of watching me break bedrock, I'll tell you about the game plan for the void trip which is to line the entire edges of the walls with crafting tables. So if he tries to use his elytra, it'll just do that. And the same thing goes for the fence gates that I'll put in the middle. Okay, now the last piece of bedrock right here. This will finally be the end of breaking the bedrock. So let's go. Yes! Bring the subsidian. And with that, all of the bedrock that we need is now broken. And now with that, I can start gathering lots and lots of wood so I can get crafting tables and fence gates. And thanks to the Tree Capitator plugin, I was able to do that in like 5 minutes. So now, we can get placing crafting tables. And now we can start the montage of placing in the fence gates. And just like that, all of the fence gates and crafting tables have now been placed, completing the void trap. So that means all we need to do now is break all of the obsidian at the bottom. And now, all we need to do is add a mechanism that blocks off the doors when I break the floor, and that we can finally trap New Vista. But this was a piece of cake, because I'm an absolute redstone pro, and I definitely know how to do redstone, and this did not take four hours. And finally, the mechanism is ready. So, this is gonna be the first test. Then say this crafting table is part only. I lead him in here, I'll stand on some a stone brick or something back there, and then he just falls into the void and just blocks him in. Let's go, now I just need to go get him. Yay. <laughs> And just like that, I was ready to kill Mira Vista. Okay, um, so here's the pricing.
Okay, I can use some. Okay, how many? Uh, is it 16 iron or 16 iron block? Uh, 16 iron. Okay. How many do you have? Uh, the shelter box right here. Okay, I'll take the whole shelter box. And this is probably enough. Oh. Good job, man. Psych! And just like that, I got the full set of netherite armor and got revenge on the joeys. And without knowing it, I also got the dragon egg, making me the richest player on the server.